What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, you are going to learn how about if statements in Kotlin. And if statements are super important because they allow you to execute a piece of code only if a certain condition is met. And we're also going to look at else if as well as else. So all of those very important keywords whenever it comes to decision making in programming. And this will help you for any programming language because this is really important in any of the programming languages. Before we get started, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we're uploading videos like this regularly and also a bunch more projects which are a little more interesting than the basics, but the basics just have to be learned first. So let's get started. we are going to finally make use of what we've learned so far. For example, the comparison operators, which are very useful when it comes to if statements. So we had this comparison operator where we said five equal equal three. And then if that was true, we can now go ahead and execute something. So now let's go ahead and create an if statement here. And before we do so, I'm going to create a little variable called height person one, and it's going to be something like 170 and then maybe height should be written correctly and then i have another one height person two should be something like 189 all right so these are centimeters for those of you who aren't aware of what i'm talking about so 170 centimeters and 189 centimeters i think that's something like five seven or five eight or something like that and then this should be um, six three in terms of feet and inches all right so these are the two height person height person one and height person two so we have two people and we want to execute something based on a condition so if person one is taller than person two then we're going to use raw force in order to beat it. Let's say we have a fight between two people and now we have to decide what kind of technique we want them to, to use. So let's say our fighter is 170 and the opponent is 189. So what shall we do? Shall we either use raw force or shall we use technique? Of course, a combination of both will be useful, but then we're going to check if height person one is greater than height person two, I simply want to print something like use raw force. All right, so let's say, or let's assume that if someone is taller, then he's also going to be stronger because he's going to have more weight and that is going to be very useful in a one-on-one -on -one fight. But now, if we execute this line of code, we will see that pretty much nothing will happen because the condition isn't met. So we have this condition of height person one shall be greater than height person two. But if we look at the values, we will see that that is not true because 170 isn't higher than 189. So we can see we get nothing here printed. So now let's say the other way around. What shall happen if height person one is less than height person two? Well, that's something that we can use with an else statement. Okay, so in this case, it's either if or else. So if this condition is met, then execute the code that is within those curly brackets. And if the condition is not met, then run the else block, which means run the code, which is within those curly brackets. So here, I'm just going to say, use technique. All right, so now let's run this again and see if anything will be printed whatsoever. And we can see it says use technique. So because our person one was smaller than the other one, we advise him to use his best techniques instead of trying to apply raw force when fighting one-on-one -on -one. because we're one hell of a coach and want only the best for our fighter. But what shall happen if they are both the same size? So let's say, we have the situation where both are actually the same size. Is there any special advice that we can give our fighter? Even though in this example, it's rather weird to have such a situation, but let's just say we have this other condition. So what you can do is you can 
have an else if. So there are three different types of checks. So the if check, then the else if check, and then finally the else, which is not really a check, but which is a code that will be executed as a default if none of the above are true. So what does that even mean? Well, let's say we have an else if in between here. So let me show you. So we have an else if again with a condition. So here I'm going to say that those two have the same height. So equal, equal. All right. So we had this first condition here, which was height person one greater than height person two. Then we had the second condition here, which was height person one is equal to height person two when it comes to its si his size. And then we can execute some code if that condition is met in here. So let's just say something like use your power technique one three three seven something like that so he, the fighter has a power technique and it's very useful against people who are the same height as he is so he should use that technique but then we have this else block which will be executed if none of the above are true so if neither this if statement or this condition here is true nor this condition here is true then the else block will be executed so then the text use technique will be executed instead now the cool thing is you can have as many else ifs as you want so we could go ahead and check if the height of person one is greater than 150 and execute some code then check if what uh, what should happen if the person is smaller than 140 or all kinds of combinations that we can think of even though we have to be careful that certain conditions don't overlap with each other because if they overlap then one of them will be useless okay so what we have here if we execute this let's say when the persons or person one and person two are both 170 then it should display use your power technique 1337 so there we are it says use your power technique 1337 so let's say one the person two is smaller than the person one then it should say use raw force so there we are use your raw force quick pause so you're learning something about android in this video and i hope you enjoy it if you want to learn everything that you need to know to become a real android developer then definitely check out my android masterclass because in this course you're going to build a bunch of great applications along your journey to becoming an android developer first you're going to learn the kotlin basics then you're going to learn to build one app after another and while you do that you get a bunch of demos which will really dig deep into the concepts as well as presentations which will help you to understand what you're learning so don't miss out and get the course right now you can find the link in the description below all right and what you see here so this whole if else if stuff is a control flow and we're using if statements here now a little challenge for you please go ahead and create an if else if else if else block where the first h check will be greater equal 21 and if that's the case then it should write something like or print something like you may drink in the us then else if the h is greater equal than 18 then you may vote and if somebody is older than 16 you may drive and then finally if none of the above is true then it should print something like you were too young so try to use this kind of structure to print those different statements based on a variable called age that you of course also need to create so go ahead and try that all right so i hope you paused the video so i'm going to create this variable called age and actually i'm not going to change it so i could go ahead and use a val here so the variable will be h and then i use an if statement here if h was greater or equal 21 then i want to print something saying now you may drink in the us because in other countries you may drink before that right if you do that then in our case, of course, this will not be printed because age is not greater than 21. But now let, let's have another check. So else if the age 
is greater or equal 18. So what shall be printed if that's the case? Well, let's print something like you may vote now. All right, print ln, you may vote now. And then we have another check, h greater or equal 16, and then in the US you may drive. So print ln, you may drive now. Of course you need a license for that, but at least you can make the license or do the license at this point and then you can use it. And then finally we have an else block which will be executed if none of the above is true, which means if the person is 15 or younger, then it should say something like you're too young to do whatever, all right? So if we run this, you probably already guessed it, it will print you may drive now because our age is 17. All right, so let's run this. And there we are, so it says you may drive now. Now if the age is, let's say, 31, as I am, you can see it says now you may drink in the US. All right, so of course I can do all of the others information as well. So I also may vote, I also may drive now and so forth. Of course, I could adjust the print statements here accordingly, but this is the latest thing, so to speak, that I can do due to my age, all right? So we have this if else if else block that we can use in order to execute stuff when certain conditions are met. Now, by the way, a thing that you can also do if you have a very basic if statement. So let's say you only have one line of code that follows a condition. So age is greater or equal 30. Then you can just go ahead and do or add the text in the next line. You're over 30. All right. So that's something that you can, of course, also do directly. So just one line of code without having these extra curly brackets around it. So if you see anything like that, that's what it does. But you have to be careful because in the next line, so if I add something like this in the next line, this line will not be part of this if statement. So it will be executed either way. So be careful here. I wanted to give you another example of if statements and this time with a different type because we used integers and we compared integers and you can even see that it says I should change that to a when statement. So it simplify this expression. And if I hover over it, it says cascade, it should be replaced with when. But we're going to do that in the next one because I want to do a little more on if statements because for example, I want to create this variable called name and I'm going to set the value to Dennis. So now I want to show you how to use if statements with strings and other data types. So if name is equal equal Dennis, then I want to write something like welcome home. So print line, welcome home Dennis. All right. But else I want to say, who are you, for example? Okay, so this is something that we can also do. So we can check strings as well. What's important is that whatever is within those brackets can be either true or false. So it has to be a Boolean that will be the result of whatever is within the brackets. So the simplest form would be, we have a variable here, is rainy is true for example so now it's raining and now i can check if is rainy is true then do some code so print ln it's rainy even though here of course it's complaining or it says the condition is always true so is rainy will always be true because it's a val so it can never be changed if we change it to a var then it at least can be changed so now this warning is not there anymore but you can see this is another way of doing if statements. So the important part is that whatever is within the brackets can be either true or false. So is a Boolean in the end. Another important aspect of if statements that I haven't covered yet 
is the following. If we look at this if statement here, we can see that it says h greater or equal 21, and here it says h greater or equal 18. So this statement is true if that statement is also true, or let's say this statement here is true if that statement here is true. So what this means is that even though the statements underneath are also true, we first of all look at the first one. And if that one is true, then we ignore all the other ones. That is something very important about if statements, because they always only look at the first expression if it's true, and if it's not true, then it starts to look at the next expression, then at the next one. And if none of the expressions are true, then the else block is executed. So it's not like all of them will be executed if the age is greater than 16, because all those three would be true, right? But only the first one. And that is generally true for if statements. So it always goes top to bottom, which means first line to last line of this if statement. And this is a whole if statement block, so they're all interconnected to each other, which means that this else block really depends on all of the other if and else if blocks to be false, otherwise it will never be executed. All right, so I'd say let's go to when expressions and see how they are different to if statements. So see you in the next video.